Before I became a devotee, I was living in Costa Rica for a year, and I was living in a very beautiful place by the beach, spending a lot of time by the ocean and enjoying myself. And yet, toward the end of my stay there, I felt my life to be very empty, and I found myself praying to the universe. I knew I wouldn't find the meaning of my life by myself, and so I really longed to have someone come my way and guide me further. That's when I went back to my hometown, Montreal, and I was meeting with my very good friend, who was a student in the way of Adidam at the time, and she told me about Adida for the first time. So that's the first time I heard about Adida Samraj. From there I started reading his autobiography uh, with a lot of passion. I was really interested. And at one point of his autobiography, he describes the esoteric anatomy and he describes the three, three stations of the heart the left, the center, and the right side of the heart. And that got me really in shock. I was really in shock because it described something of an experience, of a very strong experience I had many, many years ago, like seven years ago, like seven years before I ever heard about Adida. And in that vision, a horse will come flying to me through a window the horse was very powerful and big and strong and so I felt afraid and started running away from the horse and yet I knew at heart that it didn't want to hurt me but it was powerful and I ran away I tried to hide behind some sheep and the horse was still coming toward me and it became quite obvious that I could not avoid the horse. So then I stood up and in open gestures of harm, I received the horse. And as the horse came closer to me, I put my left hand on the right side of my heart and a strong pulse was being felt there. And as the horse really joined me, I exploded in a sphere of light. It was full of energy, it was very strong and vibrant, and at that point I woke up with the same energy feeling in the body. It was very strong and, and it kept me wondering what all of that was about. It was not of a usual dream, it was more of a form of experience in sleep state. And I always kept it in a place in my memory, wondering what that was all about. So, and wondering why in the right side of the heart and not in the left side where we know the heart to be. So when I read Adida's autobiography and he was describing the importance of the right side of the heart, I knew he had already contacted me a long time ago and that I had finally come his way and there was no more question about him being in my life and becoming my master and from there I became devotee quite quite quickly and happily